want to show you a little sort of minute to win it uh, game timer. So there's a lot of these games uh, that you can play, especially with family and friends around the holidays, uh, where you might want to have someone answer a question first based on trivia or who knows what you're, what you're up to with these games. But a lot of games where you have to have someone buzz in or raise their hand first. And so what I decided to do was build a little timer using a Circuit Playground Express inside of Make Code. And why don't we uh, have a look? I'll demonstrate it first. So here you see I have an alligator clip attached to one of the capacitive touchpads just to kind of pull this off and away into the side of the board. So when I press this, it'll run through. You can hear it beep. OK, and now it's ready for one of these two buttons to be pressed. So two people on either side or with a finger ready on the button, whoever hits it first, it's going to light up to their color. So the person on this side with the button A gets red, and nothing else can be pressed at this point. So once one's buzzed in, the game locks it out. And now I'll press the alligator clip again, give it a second try. And now this player uh, with the B button, if they press it first, it goes to blue. Uh, so the way this is done inside of Make Code, uh, it's fairly straightforward. So I have a couple of variables called ready and started. And it, at the beginning, we are ready, but we haven't started yet. When you touch the A4 capacitive touch pad, it checks to see, has the game been started? And if not, then it can proceed forward. And this pre prevents double taps of the start button. Uh, and then when we do start, we flip that value to true. Uh, and then three times, we run through a little bit of animation and play a tone. Beep, 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 and then beep is the high one that ends it. Uh, and then we set the ready state to true. And this variable, when it's set to true, uh, allows one of these two buttons to be pressed. So there's this if loop that says, if ready is set to true, then we can go ahead and pay attention to what happens when the buttons are hit. And then, depending on which one is pressed first, we set the ready state to false, so the other person uh, with the other button can't weigh in at this point. We set the pixel color to the color for that button, and then we set the started loop to false. Uh, and so that'll allow us to reset it after the next time. And so that's how you can create yourself a little game timer using the uh, Circuit Playground Express inside of Make Code. And that is your Make Code Minute.